guys. What's up, Virgo? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We're going to do a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. First, we're going to just lay down a few cards to see the energy in general, what's going on around you, and uh, grab some oracle cards as well. So what does Virgo, what's going on around Virgo right now, please? What does Virgo need to know? So remember, the energies can always be reversed. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, uh, you can visit my Etsy page or even send me an email. All right. So Virgo, what is the energy right now around Virgo, please? Oh, you got a lot of uh, fire energy down here, particularly Leo. This could be somebody who has like a bad temper temperament, like uh, on the extreme end. This is somebody who could get like even physically abusive. This is somebody who takes like a lot in regards to self like the way something looks the way something comes across pride and ego that kind of come in the way but this is like an energy that something like somebody may not be showing like how they're really feeling or what they're really thinking instead it's more so like coming across as anger all right so virgo you have the high priestess the queen of pentacles that's your energy the knight of cups could be dealing with the water sign the three of swords somebody could be at a distance here but it's like they're they want to apologize they want to come towards you they want to talk but somebody's been keeping a lot of feelings and definitely could be dealing with a water sign there's a lot of water energy but it's also cups represent emotions and this is somebody like it can be a friendship that's turned into more or however it's going to resonate this is somebody that feels very close to you they could have like a gift, an apology. Somebody's been thinking about you a lot, but something about it is like there's either a distance or a weight for whatever reason. But it looks like your intuition is very high, but it does look like there's a particular situation, like I said, that's either at a distance or there's been some heartbreak, some pain. Because somebody's been doing a lot of thinking, trying to like figure out what to say. How to apologize if that's the case how to approach you but it's like when it comes to moving forward there's either a weight or something about it is like um more so easier said than done so let's um hold on what is the moon energy right now around virgo the moon is currently in virgo it's about to leave it though dark moon which is sort of where we are now wrapping up in the moon cycle so not quite there but spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you you also have moon and cancer spend time with family or helping others avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions because it does look like there's a lot of emotions tied into something here all right for your love energy you have settling accepting less than you deserve cards for virgo please double life partner engaged in secret behaviors or relationships you also have masquerade pretending to be what you'd like in a partner and twin flame you are involved in a twin flame union all right virgo so let's see what's going on for the immediate future for you guys all right so immediate future please for virgo 
what's coming up next for Virgo. See the Eight of Swords there. So remember the energies can be reversed. It can be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. Somebody around you. Looks like somebody's worried there. Given a lot of contemplation. A lot of thought to something. But it may, it may not feel like settled around it right now. Alright. So Virgo immediate future. We got the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Damn, and the Eight of Pentacles. You could be really focused on work, career, finances, putting time and energy into that. And that's going to really pay off for you. Money is looking good. Independence. All right, let's get it. Uh-oh. All right, media future, what's coming up for Virgo, please? You got the Eight of Cups, so you may have walked away from something or kind of pulled back your energy. The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is Wounded Warrior. It's like down but not out. You may be kind of skeptical, kind of hesitant. Damn, there's a Seven of Swords. So just to keep it light and breezy, kind of whatever you're walking away from, like set your intentions, set where you're going, make a plan on how you're proceeding because there is like the skeptical energy. But when we're ending with the Seven of Swords, depending on how it's going to resonate, the Seven of Swords can be a sneaky energy. Show me this Eight of Cups, please. Or Virgo. You got the Temperance card and the Page of Cups, Sagittarius energy and the Moon. Cancer Pisces energy, the Two of Swords. This looks like somebody who pulled back, at least emotionally, you could have walked away, but it's also like there's this peaceful healing energy around it. It's like somebody has their feelings here, but they may not have been speaking up about it, but there is this energy of like a lot of unknown around the situation. Things could have came to a crossroads, but there's so much, I mean, there could be something that you're keeping to yourself. But this is like something that you've walked away from and it's coming across like you've healed, like you've moved on and emotions were tied in. But there's still a lot unknown around the situation. Show me this nine of wands, please. For Oh, shoot. For Virgo. We got this king of swords. That's air energy, but what you have here is somebody who has not been showing their true feelings. Like they've been keeping a lot in. They may not have been up for communication or like talking about feelings. This is more of like a very guarded energy. The Seven of Cups. Somebody who could have been like more focused on work. But it looks like somebody's been kind of doing some thinking, like you've been on their mind. There's that Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's been thinking about you a lot, but it doesn't look like they've told you. This could be somebody that you work with for some. Show me the Seven of Swords, please. So you have three sevens here. Make sure you take time for yourself to go within and decide what it is that you want and be very honest with yourself. Because with the, the three sevens here, that's that's kind of like a divine number. It's time to like connect with your higher self. Seven is also a card of self. Show me the seven of swords, please, for the outcome for Virgo. You got the queen of pentacles. That's your energy in the full looks like you're taking chances here you're making a plan the queen of pentacles is your energy with the fool there that's about optimistic fresh starts new beginnings with the fool there make sure though that you're you're thinking things all the way through that's too many show me this fool please for virgo the 
Ace of Swords. There's communication here, something that's getting revealed. Like somebody doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you. So we started over here with like a lot unknown, a lot of, you know, kind of no clarity, no insight, no awareness. And then with this Ace of Swords, it's all becoming known. You've been on someone's mind here and they don't want to let you go. That's where this Tower, this Knight of Cups, this Ace of Wands, the Star, Aquarius energy. This is an unexpected turn. You didn't see this coming because, sorry about that, because so much has been hidden. So it looks like this is an unexpected turn where, like I said, everything was hidden over here. Things that were coming clear, they're kind of shocking me. For some, they could be like just showing up, but it does look like they're showing up, hoping to hold on to you hoping to hold on to this connection. They're making things very known. All right, Virgo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.